Oh, hmm. Woohoo! Is it a cake or a biscuit? Listen up, you other car YouTubers. A word from our sponsors. Holy. Hello, classic and retro car lovers. Welcome back to the People's Channel. The channel where we're going to put cars away for the winter. We're going to rock it until the wheels fall off. Well, not literally. You don't want your wheels falling off. That wouldn't be good. Well, it's a perfect day for electrical fault finding. <laughs> Have yourself a biscuit in the cupboard and watch me attempt to shock myself. Is it the cake? Is it the biscuit? Hmm. I don't think it's a cake or a biscuit. Adding some controversy to the is it a cake or a biscuit debate there. <laughs> Again, no real plan, just pure Viva entertainment. <laughs> no real plan of action, just trying to check off all the list of jobs to do before we take for a test drive. Job numero uno starting today. Let's try and get indicators, because he'd be handy on the roads, wouldn't it? So my dad's been round, we didn't get any filming done because, well, well, we're jammed under this cover and plus my phone was getting very wet. But we checked all the wiring and we had power to the relay. I've got the old relay back on now, I'll tell you why in a minute. But uh, we had power from there to there, there to there, we checked all this and we had power going to the stalk, so we eliminated, eliminated everything and found out that the stalk was bad. So I know a lot of you suggested, and thank you very much for suggestions and comments on what to do. A lot of you suggested spraying contact cleaner in there and then blowing it out of the compressor. Didn't have the compressor here, but when I went shopping the other night and I got this contact cleaner, which in my opinion is good stuff, but probably just because it worked. <laughs> Fast drying. So, sprayed that full of the contact cleaner. It's fast drying. Sat and had a cup of tea, waited for it to dry. And we have indicators. Right indicator. Left indicators. And we've got them working, so I decided to try the old flasher unit in it because the new one that I bought wasn't making a noise, so I thought I'll try the old one. And can you hear this? So we have indicators. I haven't checked out the horn yet and the other electrics, but I'm going to wait until it's drier so I can lift the bonnet, otherwise all the water is going to run down into the fuse box. Or I might turn the car around again at some point. They put the front end in the garage so it's nice and dry, the front end, so the electrics don't get wet. I know a lot of you mentioned that my me, me brake lights were on on the video, it's because the brake light switch isn't connected, so it's, it was constantly open. So I shoved a zippy tie around there while we were checking the indicator so it didn't uh, run, run the battery dry or anything. And I'm going to try and fit that on now. I don't know if there's enough threads left on it because it snapped off the original one, but uh, we'll give it a go, and if not, we'll have to order up a new brake light unit switch let's turn on the ignition and see if the brake lights are out Yep, no brake lights. They're just reflectors in case anyone's wondering. I'll just get me work companion to press on the brake here. <laughs> and sweet brake lights. Woohoo! I'll just dismiss the work companion here. Then see if we've got Rear lights. Ah, oh. got a bulb out. Hmm. I'd say the brake light's not working on that side now either. Probably popped. Probably got water in it. 
Not a great idea to be doing this in the rain. <laughs> but we'll check that out next time, mate. We'll see if we've got an earthing issue or, or what. But at least we've got indicators for now. So to round that segment up, we have indicators. We have brake lights. The brake light switch is working, although should probably get a new one. And I popped a real light. Baby, when the lights go out. Now the next day. Hello, Pooch. Nice and toasty in here. It's a bit chilly outside. Look at this. Just feels all kind of wrong, this. Like, the missus promised the kids that they could put the tree up if they stopped whinging the other morning when they go back. So when they go back from school, they put the tree up. Silent night. Holy night. Oh! Right, I've been kind of tidying up in here, so I'm empty. This is going to be all for me. Electrical stuff for the car. It's still a mess in here, but we'll get there. So, we're going to fit some proper prop bolts, but well, these are for Moggy Mine. I hope they fit. I think they might just. I don't know. You know, the, so I think they'll just fit. So, I do want some longer ones, but when, I'm, when you're looking for longer ones, you get them in, you know, how they're like half threaded. Some of the thread, the half threaded bit isn't enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyway, let's see how we get on with these first. But first, a word from our sponsors. <coughs> Just a quick word about sponsors and advertisements on the channel and stuff like that. As small as this channel is, I've been sent a lot of emails. Well, I've been sent a few messages. Well, I've been sent several messages by the same company. Now, I've been sent stuff. One to advertise or will I advertise or will I try this? And I want to let you know that I, I've, I have integrity. I would only advertise or recommend something if it was garage related, like for use car related, or food, or food, yeah, I love some food. And I personally used it and I thought it was good, because if it's shit, I'll tell you it's shit. Come on, noppers, get in on this deal, get in on the ground level where this channel's still small. <laughs> it's a bit brisk today, like let's get warmed up and let's jack this car up. It's time! Thank you to everyone who bought us a coffee. Thank you for supporting the channel. You can also support the channel by hitting that thumbs up button or subscribing if you want. If you're still watching. These Morris minor prop bolts had a different diameter, like one of them was a 13 and the back end was a 14 and the other one was well, 14 millimetres bolts, well not that, not millimetres, you know, the Imperial like, it wasn't quite, well actually it wasn't quite 9 16th and it wasn't quite 14, it was a mystery. Mystery. So my Imperial spanners are limited, so you know how you can get away if using 13 on a half inch, I am, and so, and there's... 14 millimeter out of diameters on the Moggy Minor bolts, or so uh, not quite 14, but they're not quite 9 16 so either, either. It's a mystery. Don't know what I'm talking about, just hit me head there, you know what I mean? Right, so <laughs> let's put the prop bolts on. Or oh, 9 16 a bit wobbly on it, and so is 14 a bit wobbly on it. This channel's motto will make it work. You know what it's like for trying to find some of the parts for this. Listen up you other car YouTubers. Complaining about waiting a long time in part shops and too many part numbers. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> Back to a 13.
Always wear safety specs. Right, they're on there, but they just reached the end of them. The capsulated nuts in the ends. What do you reckon? Should I take them off and put some Loctite on as well? Or try and find longer ones? I did find longer ones, but the the part the parts of them that were threaded, there was too much that weren't threaded, if you know what that means, so they went way through, so they wouldn't tighten up. Or would it matter if I just get ones that are fully threaded and cut a bit off? Because I kind of get the exact size ones that were on this that came off, that were in some of daft like an inch and a quarter and two sixteen or something like that. So what were their moggy prop bolts if half inch was too small for them? 14 wobbled about on them and 916 wobbled about them. Mystery bolts. Need to invest in imperial spanners like a lot more imperial spanners because on the prop you kind of get sockets in. Right let's tighten that clutch cable up. This return spring's looking a little old and weathered. Probably could do for a new one of them before I take her out for a long run. While I'm under here, I thought I'd reconnect the, the speedo cable, you know, just in case, just a precaution. Just in case I'm cruising along on the motorway once the old girl's on the road and before you know it, I'm hitting 130 mile an hour and being pulled over by the popo. <laughs> Let's see if the old girl makes it to a motorway first, eh? The last time this was on the road, people still wore shell suits. Right, so that's a prop bolt on, although possibly temporary prop bolts again. But they are high tensile ones. Just not as long as the other ones. They do reach the end, but just into the height, into the capsulated bit. Oh, I've got these, my side light adapters. Side light adapters, side light uh, link cable things that I stole off my other Viva. Borrowed off my other Viva for now. And I found these, I must have got these a while ago, the bungs for where they sit in the headlights. And I've got new bulbs. So let's let the car down and fit the side lights. You know I like me safety. I haven't got many of me nine lives left. You can never be too safe, but you can be too dumb.
don't know if I've put them bungs on right, you know, because of the angle that can go in on, but they're in there for now. I'm sure someone will tell us. Why am I breathing so heavy? <laughs> right, I'm just going to drive it backwards and forwards a little bit to check the clutch out. Oh no, no, well, it is a cool day. Does that look normal for a classic car, the carburetor one? Who's got a Viva? What does it look like? Or, I hope it's not a head gasket problem, I hope it's not cooling getting into the engine. Hmm, who knows, maybe after an oil change. It hasn't ran for a long time, in a long time. So maybe after an oil change, hmm, or maybe a future head gasket change video coming up. I need to stop jibber jabbering. So, in the next video, let's get the oil and filter done. And should we put some gearbox oil in it? Check the gearbox top, top the gearbox oil up. And I think I'm definitely going to loosen that clutch off as well. It is a little firmer, but I don't know if I've tightened it up a little too much. Maybe I should ease it off a little bit. I don't know if I was just used to the way it was before. Or maybe a nice tight return spring. So yes, that rear light and brake light is working again. I checked it before and I wasn't sitting. Could it be the earthen thing because it's earthed to the body of it and it wasn't sitting in the holder right because I popped it in there. And it's working fine now. Sorry if I'm jibber-jabbing a little bit. The garage is full of exhaust fumes. Woohoo! It's a bit different having the car turn around that way, like. Turn around that way? Turn around that way. You get me. I like this contact cleaner stuff, so I'm going to clean up all the contacts that look a little bit dirty! Including the, uh, the fuel sender one as well. Remember, that was jumping up. I might as well give that a good clean. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you all for watching this little working class, low budget build channel. I've got some good ideas for the future. What will the future bring? Who knows? The world is our lobster. Hope you're still enjoying it. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Behind your frozen eyes Skies are here and laughter Make me feel just one more thing than I And even though the night Spies the thing you're after Realize you're something more than I And it's all